everyone, my name is Vera Can, and I'm making a quick pasta dish. It's a classic Roman dish, it's called pasta amatriziana, and it has uh, rendered down uh, pork gel and some to tomato passata, a bucatini noodles, which I've got going right in here while my pork is rendering down. And it's a it's a really thick type of pasta, and it's got like a like a sort of a hole in the center. It looks like a very thick straw. And some pecorino romano cheese, some beautiful chili flakes, and some good quality olive oil. So this is actually looking pretty good. It's like looking sort of crispy and um, the fat is kind of rendering down and I've got a little bit of the pork gel fat in there. So classic Roman cooking, there is no garlic or onions in the dish. So we're just gonna be working right now with the pork gel, my pasta. Uh, it's been about seven minutes and oh, it's hot. However, mm, dente. So I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna grab a measuring cup. I'm just gonna reserve some, about a cup of the pasta water because I've salted it really well and it's gonna add flavor to the pasta. So I'm gonna crank up my heat a little bit more. To this, I'm going to toss in the chili peppers and then just give that a little bit of a stir. So I want the, the chilies to kind of come up and get a little smoky and release its heat. Okay, and from here, I'm just gonna toss the pasta right in. Woo, there we go. Right in with the pork gel. You hear that sizzling? Get more. This is one of um, my best friend's favorite pasta dishes, and we would eat this in Rome, and she would order it every single time and never get bored of it. So, Kylie, this one's for you. I think I've got all the pasta in there. Okay. So, I'm just going to try to stick a little bit. However, I'm just going to keep it moving around, keep it moving around the chilies and the the pork fat are gonna start kind of mixing in with that pasta. To this, I'm now going to add the passata. Um, so this is what, about a, a whole jar. And I'm just gonna do about half a jar. That's pretty messy, however. That's there. Gonna mix it around some more, show you what it looks like. Just keep it working. Work it all around. So I didn't add too much salt to this because I've salted the water, the pasta water, like quite heavily. Um, and then also the guanciale is quite salty. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna finish with the salt in the end. Plus I'm gonna be adding pecorino, so it's gonna add more salt. Um, so right now I just, I just think it's gonna, it's perfect with its, with its seasoning. So. I'm just gonna grab a spoon. I'm just gonna give the tomato sauce a taste. It's got it's tart from the the tomato sauce. I can taste the salt from the guanciale. I'm gonna just gonna add a little bit of pasta water. Thin out the tomato sauce. Give it another stir. The pasta is quite still quite al dente, so I'm just gonna let it keep going. I can taste the heat from the chilies. It's really, it's very spicy, um, so which is good. I like that. And then I'm gonna add some olive oil. Give it another stir. Beautiful. I'm gonna grab a a bowl, pasta bowl, and then just give it a little minute here because the 
as you can see, it's, it's still quite uh, saucy. I really want the pasta to be coated uh, well with the, um, with the sauce. So, so I think I'm actually gonna add just a, a touch of salt. I always use the sea salt. And so just a little bit more salt and uh, just black pepper for balance on that spice. And you can hear it, you can hear it going now. You see the olive oils in there mixed in with that sauce as well. I'm just gonna give it another taste. I'm double dipping. Okay, it's me. Mm. Good, really good. Okay, just gonna plate up. And do a twist. Ooh. Can you see? And a bit more. I'm going to make sure to grab some of the guanciale from the bottom of the pan and just dot it around the pasta. And then I'm gonna take the pecorino. And I'm actually gonna grab you and so you can see pecorino. And we're just gonna make it rain on top of that pasta. Whoopsie, there it is, making it rain. And I'm just gonna load up with the, the cheese just cause, just cause we can. Okay, so this is the classic Roman dish, pasta amatriziana. Buon appetito!